Hey everybody, what's up? This is Kendra coming to you with another Tuesday morning haul. I picked up some really cool items for this week. I have a whole lot to haul for you all, so let's just jump right into it. Thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my silly videos. Um, so let me just show you what I picked up. <clears throat> picked up this paper pack. Um, it is the pack of 25 by American Crafts. It's a combination of Easter and spring. It says, hello, spring. You can cut those banners. Beautiful tags. Um, and here is the number for this one. Really like that pad. Um, the next one is this pad by Bo Bunny. It was also $2.99. 25 pieces. You, all, you get um, 25 of the same sheets. So I do like to share some of these. I love these doors. That kind of remind me of the projects that Coupon to Provide is working on right now. This one, you can stamp in these images. You can use them for layering. You can write in these images. So that was really cool. Next, excited to find this one. This one is uh, on the Faith line. Really, really nice. Some tabs, you can cut them out. You know, cut the tabs out. Really love this piece down here. So I thought that was really cool. And the back side, guess what? I didn't show the back side of this last one, huh? So on this one, the back side looks like this. And it's kind of like buttons. You can use your punches and cut these out. Cut some of them out if you choose to. So yeah, sorry about that. So the fake ba uh, back looks like this. And this is very, very pretty. You can use your alcohol markers or coloring pencils, watercolors. I don't know about watercolors. Um, to color some of these images in, or you can leave them like that. So since we're on talking about adult coloring, let me jump into the markers. Um, found these Royal Langnickel, I think that's how you pronounce it, <clears throat> set of markers in Tuesday morning. I initially only picked up two packs, but um, to, camp, to come home and try them, and I really, really like them. So I do really like these. <clears throat> so I picked up all... Well, I haven't found the gray pack. Here is the dusk. There is one with uh, gray colors, and there is a primary color pack that I did not pick up. And I think they they all have different numbers. So I picked up these packs <clears throat> from Tuesday morning. Move these out the way, and I will show you. I did swatch some of them. Well, I swatched all of them in my little Dollar Tree coloring book. To, to give you all an idea of what the colors look like. This isn't the best quality paper, so it will look a little bit different on, you know, better quality paper, of course. But, yeah, very pretty colors. <clears throat> Good quality markers. Let's see where I want to go next. Um, next, found some Heidi Swap items. These little bowls are really cute to me. Um, pick these up whenever I see them. Just the smaller bags. You get 26 pieces for $1.49. That's a really good deal. Some burlap trim. I wasn't sure if I showed this in my last video. Or a different color, so I picked that up. Picked up some of the iron-on patches. I did, I did show those. Next, we're going to ink a dink a do to death. Some more of these stamps. I swear there's like a million of them. But they are ranged from $1.49 to $1.99. Really like that one. And these are regular cling stamps, guys. You do not need this piece in order to uh, stamp these. Especially if you have a stamping tool, you can make the same perfect image. Because <clears throat> that's all this piece does is just align when you make one stamp and it perfectly aligns the next one, but these were probably created a long time ago before the stamping tools were created. Really love this one. If you look closely, of course I had to get the Florida de Lee, Nola girl here. Um, this one has a little deer standing on top of this image, and this one has the angel. See her little face in here, there. So yes, yeah, they, they have really cool images in these. This one, um, I thought about journaling with the word fun in there. I don't know what's behind that one. That kind of looks like a um, carnival ride to me. What do you call it? The Ferris wheel or something. So this kind of looks carnival to me. And then I picked up another one of these. 
Love this one. I shared this in my last haul, but love the octopus. Love that mermaid, if you didn't see it in my last haul. So that was it for those stamps. So I guess while we're on stamps, we can keep on going <clears throat> with the stamps. Pick this stamp up. Didn't want to pay $5 for it, but I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Picked up this stamp set. Shared this on Instagram. She's really cute. I love the balloons. Um, and I love the B with the little lashes. That's really cute. I found this one. This one is Woodland's Critter. This one is by Bo Bunny. Really cute. Shared this one yesterday on my IG. Rejoice stamp set. And I did find um, this stamp set with the... Um, the stamps and the coordinating dies. I have two dogs, two chow chow dogs that I really, really love. And these, um, they're separated so you can create the pop-up cards. Uh, you all probably know this. These items have been in Michaels for a while also. But you can use this, especially if you get this piece. If you look for this piece, then you can create um, this a pop-up card with any stamp and just cut it out. It doesn't have to be the dog. There is also a cat one like this. I chose not to get it, but here are the numbers for those. If you're interested, um, just a couple dies. I did pick up this one. There was a circle one. I shared it on IG, but I decided not to get that one. And this one is just the uh, squares. And you don't have to leave them together. You can cut them apart. <clears throat> Found this one today, really excited. It's a hamburger box. Um, <laughs> it's kind of small, it's not extremely small. Actually, I tried to cut it out to see how difficult it was and to see the size of it. Um, these things do not come with any kind of instructions as to what piece you glue to what or whatever. So I'm gonna have to look, find a video or whatever, but just to give you a size comparison. It's not too tiny and it's not too big. I can't figure out this front part. But like I said, I was rushing some glue all on there. I was rushing trying to see if I could put it together to show you all real quick. And then the last stamp and die set, I found this one today by Tim Holt, $6.49. Do you see that price? The butterfly, really love that. Out of limitations come creativity. Perfect for crafters, right? And that's a Tim Holtz. Um, next, blame this on you, Kendra. Pretty plan with me. I passed on this the first time I saw it. And then I was like, you know what? I need to get that. These things are hard to store. I do have quite a few of them from Tuesday, from um, previous Tuesday morning a couple years ago. Um, but these are really, really easy. It's a lot faster than a die because you can just punch. You get a 6x6. Six six. I use my 6x6 six six with these mainly uh, paper pads. And um, you just punch it on the four corners or two corners and flip it over on the other side, punch the other two corners, and it makes the perfect. I mean, you can do it in like 10 seconds. Um, yeah, so here's the number for that. There's a whole bunch of patterns. I've been sharing them on my IG. Um, next, pick this up. I think this is a rebuy. I think I bought this before. But you don't have to use this with the rulers. Um, you can use this in a picture frame with some cork board. You can glue this to anything, and it's a binder clip that has a hook on it. So I thought that was really, really cool. And then I also picked up some of these picture clips, also for crafting. They are $1.99. So I thought that was a good find. Let's see. Next, let's see some random stuff. Next, picked up this uh, pack of sticker sheets. You get four sticker sheets. They all These are all foil with si silver foil which I love, it's not the gold, um, but they have, they are sticker sheets, so use this with your dies, and it's perfect. Let's jump to some Bow Bunny items. Um, these are the Bow Bunny stickers I found and chose this week. Love all the pretty collections that are out, I love this one. And they're really thick chipboards. Found this pack of uh, die cuts or ephemera pieces, whatever you want to call it. It says, Happy Easter. This coordinates with some chipboard that I hauled last 
last week. I'm excited to find this one. Some puffy stickers. Found a set of Easter stickers. Quite a few Jolie stickers. Making its rounds at Tuesday morning. Love this one with the different crowns and things like that. So 99 cents for those. Um, another pack of Bow Bunny stickers. These are just clear stickers. Coordinate with some of the other pieces. Love the retro cassette tapes and the old school telephones. I just saw a post on Facebook and it was like, it had a picture of the phone and it was off the hook. And it said this was our call block back in the day. And that is the truth. When you don't want your phone to ring, baby, you just take it off the ringer and put it to the side. Mad at your boyfriend, you just take it off the hook. So when they called, the line was busy. <laughs> we were so childish back then, huh? Maggie Holmes, I'm sure I have this in my collection from when I first started, but 99 cents, I could not pass this up. Anything Maggie Holmes for 99 cents. Perfect for layering. Um, next, picked up this. I, I have been eyeing this for a while, and I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get this because... Um, <clears throat> Sometimes when, you, when you're using your 8.5 by 11 and you don't want to pull out the big 12 by 12 um, scoreboard and uh, trimmer thing, you can just, this is compact enough but not too small to just uh, use those 8.5 by 11s. And it's 9 inches wide, so it's perfect for the 8.5 size sheets. <clears throat> Show you all the chipboard stickers that I selected. So I picked these. This coordinates with the stamp set that I just showed you all. Love the little fox. Here's the Faith Base one, the Faith Collection. Trying to get the glare off. Oh, look at that butterfly. That's so cute. And here is the back. Love the cross. Here's the next set. I actually bought the paper pads. I think I bought the paper pads to go with this. If not, there definitely is a 6x6 six six paper pad. And I chose this one, Bella Rosa. Really pretty colors. <clears throat> and then this one, Life is Cool. I got a phone off the hook, it's busy. Nobody's home. So really cool. Love the keys. Love the cassette. So those are my choices with the chipboards. And now let me show a couple collections. I love when I find all the pieces. Um, this one is called the Sweet Moments Collection. So I found the pack of stickers, chipboard stickers. Really love this one. These are so pretty. I found a pack of the journaling cards with different sizes. You get 96 in here. And there are three different sizes in there. Love that. Here is the six by six paper pad. Do a quick little flip through. Look at those presents. That's so pretty. I love the colors in this one. So yeah, and then it just repeats. So very pretty. And then I also found the ephemera pieces. Uh oh, focus. And then here is the chipboard. Love this. Look at the candy. These colors are gorgeous. You uh, you belong among the wildflowers. So yes, that was my favorite collection. Uh, pick this up. Been eyeing this for a while. It's just a love die. Um, lots of boxes like these in Tuesday morning arriving this week. They had these in the past for like 99 cents. I hauled them a long time ago, but they were a little bit bigger. Um, but these are the smaller packs, and you get two in a pack for $1.49. Um, 
um, the store. I went in and found some of these pattern ones. The lady that was in the aisle, she literally took all of them. I luckily found that one hiding. But she was like, those are good to mail stuff in. I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but she took them all, honey. I was talking to the party because she just beat me. $5, yep. Kind of pricey, but this these are gorgeous to me. I could not leave these things in the store. They are dimensional. Well, not dimensional, embossed. This one is $5.99 with the bees. This is very, very pretty. You can... Um, it, they are actual cards. I love the ragged, kind of rigid edges. But um, if you don't want to use this as a card, um, you know, you can cut this piece off and add it to your own card base and embellish, embellish it a little bit more. I'm sure that's what I will do with some of those. But they have a lot of um, different note card sets and stuff like that in Tuesday morning right now. Pick these up. Wasn't sure if I have these, but just some Scrabble looking tile thickers. We all love the thickers. Another collection that I don't know why the heck I got was this By the Sea collection. Here is a number. These mermaids look weird to me, y'all. Let me see if I can zoom in. They look so... Nah, I'm not going to get the focus. They look so weird to me. Look at this mermaid. Look at their arms. Like, if you're going to make them look human, make them look human. Our arms don't bend like that. <laughs> look at that. Look at the curves in their arms. <laughs> like, yeah, but my dumb butt got it. And I don't know. I love the crabs. Y'all know I'm a seafood lover, so I like that page. I kind of like, I like all the pages except for the mermaid pages. Look at that. Ain't that crazy? I don't know. Y'all know I just make fun of stuff. And it's all in fun. I don't want nobody getting offended. All in fun, honey. I'm just silly and playful at times. Next collection is this one. And this one is called You're Invited. Very, very pretty. These are the chipboard stickers. Here are the ephemera pieces or die cuts, whatever. What is the difference between ephemera and die cuts? Like, aren't they pretty much the same? I'm sure somebody's going to correct me down below. I welcome it. Look at the floral banner and the present. This one is very, very pretty. She is anything but ordinary. I know that's right. I am not ordinary. Nobody's ordinary. These are all uniquely made. Last collection is this one. And I've saw this so many times, passed on a lot of items. Um... But then when I saw this pack of stickers, this kind of sold me. I was like, okay, I need to get this. So now I need to try to find the rest of the pieces. Felicity Lay, here are the chipboard stickers. Very beautiful colors. Look at this pack of stickers. I got two of those. Um, here's the paper pad. And this is the number. Do a quick little flip through. I didn't take the tabs off, but you can still see. Look at that page. <clears throat> Very, very pretty. Love this. So I hope I can still find the pieces that I passed up all week. Um, and then I found this pack of papers, a 25 pack with 25 sheets. And here's the number for this one. This video getting long. I'm almost to the end, guys. I had a lot. I had a lot. And last but not least, I just want to share some the layering stamps that I found. Um, I know some of you are finding these, so I may have some in this uh, pack that you haven't found. So I found this one, the layering butterfly. Found the camera. I think the only one I didn't find was the typewriter. Found this one, and they all have different numbers. So you can just zoom in, pause. For the number, here's the rose. 
And as you can see, they're ranging from $249 to $1.99. Here's another camera. Here's a comparison of the two different cameras. And there is an ink pad that you can purchase with these colors in it. Um, but I didn't purchase that. You can use your own. Use your own inks. I mean, and it was like $5.99. I wasn't sure of the quality. Here's the splashes. I don't know what you call that. Swatches, not splashes. Um, here's a rose set. And last but not least is a banner. This is a banner set. Even though I don't see banner on here, but yeah. So, and it's inspiration ideas on the back of each one. So, yeah, that's it. And it, that's the inks right there I was talking about. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this typewriter. Doggone it. But, yeah, but that's it. So, thank you so much for watching my video. Sorry, this one was a little bit longer, but it's, you know, not too bad. But thank you so much for tuning in to one of my, uh, another one of my videos. I appreciate you guys so much. Peace.